There is no generally accepted or formal definition of a weak state. But the core concept is a country that is either unwilling or unable to perform the basic functions and responsibilities of a state. Typically they mean the ability to control the territory that the state occupies, its borders, to monopolize the legitimate use of force, essentially ensuring public security within that area, as well as providing basic services to the citizens. The basic sources of state weakness are the following. They're poor and underdeveloped. They often have weak political institutions. Probably the most important factor uh, in terms of state weakness is whether the citizens of that country look upon the central government as a legitimate entity. When we look at uh, weak states around the world today, predominantly they're in Africa and parts of the Middle East. The term weak state sort of entered into the lexicon right after the end of the Cold War, when we had a series of crises in the developing world. After 9-11, the concept of weak state became more prominent, mainly in the context of them becoming safe havens for terrorist organizations. And so you, you had the situation which is sort of uh, unusual in international relations in which instead of strong states being seen, seen as the, the primary threat to national security, weak states became seen as, as the primary threat. There are many consequences of state weakness for, for their citizens. They often live in poverty, some are malnourished, infant mortality can be very high. In other weak states there may be endemic violence. In some cases, the government is the threat to the citizens in the way they're repressive or they can even conduct you know, terrible genocide as we saw in Rwanda. Well, the U.S. is concerned about weak states for a variety of reasons. The first is the fear that weak states could be used as safe havens for terrorist organizations. A second concern is that states might descend into violent civil war. There is another dimension to state weakness that we worry about, and we see this in Pakistan. But this is a country that also has nuclear weapons. And here the primary concern is that the state might collapse and those weapons might fall into the hands of terrorist organizations that could use them against the United States. There are a variety of ways in which weak states can be helped. First and foremost is improving the, uh, the economic conditions in the country. The second way is through political assistance. And this can be anything from helping them out with elections, to providing training for political officers, to training judges. The third way is to provide uh, assistance to the security forces within that country. And if all this fails and, and the situation really deteriorates and we're, we're in a full-blown crisis, then we're talking about humanitarian assistance and ensuring that basic services can function in a crisis. As countries develop and become more modern, then this problem will hopefully recede. But a lot of states are still quite weak and they still compose a serious problem to international security as well as their, their citizens.